Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. So I was just reading David Hobby, the strobist, and on his blog or website, he's got a couple of points, a couple of reasons he's very disappointed with the Nikon D600. So I was very interested to read this because the D600 to me, as I pointed out in my last video, the seven reasons it may be the most perfect DSLR ever, the, uh, the D600 to me is exactly that. It could be the most perfect DSLR. Um, especially when you factor in price. The strobist got into it and basically his big beef, the first one I can dismiss almost right away. And let me just say, uh, I'm a big fan of David Hobby, big fan of the strobist. I have a lot of respect for him. The man has a lot of knowledge. I've been to some of his seminars. And, uh, so this is in no way a, a, a down on the strobist, just a, uh, a different side of the argument. Uh, my not necessarily agreeing with these two points is basically, I'm just, just prevent, uh, providing a counterpoints to what he's at. Uh, and we both have, uh, different requirements. I'm still shooting with DSLRs. No plans to change that. Uh, David is shooting with medium format, uh, digital cameras, digital backs now. So, uh, his requirements for a backup would be a lot different than, uh, myself and most of us for a DSLR. So David's two points are number one, that it didn't have a sync jack built in. Uh, a lot of cameras are getting away from this now, and it is so easy for workarounds on this that I don't even think twice about this. For David, again, especially coming from medium format back, it's probably something that's annoying because that's the way he does things. But the way I trigger uh, off-camera lighting now is wireless from the hot shoe. A uh, variety of different transmitters I have. And I think that's the way most of us are doing it these days. So I think that's going to be a very minimal, um, a very minimal complaint. Uh, or should I say, it's going to be a complaint that a very minimal amount of people are going to have. Uh, perhaps David Hobby and 10 other people in the world. And then, uh, his, his biggest point, the one that he said just ruled it out for him was the fact that the D600 has a one 200th sync speed. Now, to me, the top sync speed basically in digital cameras these days is one 250th of a second. So we're down to 200. Yes, I would have preferred two, uh, 250 for a little bit better sync, get a little more umph out of your lighting. However, this is not a killer by any means, folks. One 200th is still fine. Very easy to work around that. Very easy to work with it. Uh, for goodness sakes, the Canon 5D Mark III, the big flagship in this price range on the Canon side, um, unless you're stepping up to the 1DX, it has a 1 200th sync speed. So most people in the Canon side are going to be working with a 5D Mark III. Most people aren't working with the Canon 1DX. And the 5D Mark III has a 1 200th sync speed, as does the D600. So really, these two points by David, the lack of sync jack, and the uh, the 1 200th shutter speed are not going to affect 99.9% .9 of people out there. And uh, I, I just wanted to point that out to give you a counterpoint to that because these are not killers by any means. For most of you that are looking at the D600, they won't even come into play. Unless you always use a sync jack in your camera and you have to have one, you can't switch, you don't have any remote triggers. If that is the case, that that's what you always do, well, then this isn't the camera for you. But I suggest to you that 99.999% of you don't do that. So it's not even going to be an issue. The 1 200th sync speed, again, 99.999% of you, not even going to be an issue. Not an issue for me. Certainly won't rule the camera out. I still think the D600 is the best DSLR on the market today. And I go by the seven reasons in the past video. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon with some new videos, some new articles. We'll keep you up to date with what's going on in the world of photography here at ArtOfTheImage.com. Thanks.